every quality in sadhak is needed and is necessary. If you see, yama, niyama, ten niyam and ten niyam, what is not necessary? Everything is necessary. So I cannot quantify only five qualities needed in a sadhak. Sadhak is moving towards self-realization. Sadhak is moving through understanding the universe, understanding who he is, understanding what the universe is. And therefore, he has to go different changes in his life to achieve it. However, to your very specific question, I can try to list five among many qualities I know Sadhak possess and Sadhak should have. And first and the most important quality which I think Sadhak should have is modesty. Why we do not succeed on the path of Satana, on the path of spirituality is because of ego. Ego does not allow us to connect to our higher self. Ego does not allow us to devote myself to source. And therefore, the most important quality a sadhak should have is an ego-free state and he shall be modest. Okay. Second, I think, in case you are modest, second automatically comes in and that is letting go. What happens? Attachment and aversion both gives us sadness. Both gives us sadness. And we are not able to go away from attachment and aversion. Why? Why? Because we are not able to let go. The incidences of past keeps disturbing us. They do not allow us to live in the present moment. Present moment is the only reality. What has passed is past. What has not come has not yet come. We should not worry and bother about the future and the past and shall try to live in the present moment. It is not possible to live in the present moment without letting go. And therefore, sadhak shall have definitely this quality present in him in case he want to move ahead on the path of spirituality. When you can understand letting go, then another quality present in you goes away from you and that quality is called anger and that quality is called anger anger and rage does not allow you to remain in control of your mind your mind immediately get disturbed the moment you are in anger and most of the time we think that by being angry I am punishing others but the reality is that by being angry we are punishing ourselves we lose the calmness of our mind we get stress that does not allow 
us to concentrate that does not allow us to concentrate on the object of conceptualization and then it does not allow us to do meditation so the third quality what I think the seeker should have is anger free state fourth fourth I think is the first one and this is steadfastness I'll succeed come what may Shiva while explaining it to Parvati says it very clearly that you can succeed in anything and everything you want provided you have trust you have faith and you know that you will succeed therefore the quality of steadfastness is the most important quality a seeker should have and the fifth one I would like to list detachment I said already that aversion and attachment provides provides you the quality to live either in the past or in the future you are not living in the present moment unless you live in the present moment spiritual development is not possible and how can that become possible by being detached so these five qualities are very important for seekers to have in their life and you can list them again as modesty letting go being away from rage and anger having steadfastness and being detached thank you so much